If you have a Ford F-150 and you want to upgrade your incandescent turn signals to an LED bulb, there's a lot on the market that are simply just not going to work. In this video, I'm going to show you a bulb that actually works because we've tested it here at Headlight Revolution. The all-new Morimoto turn signals. You notice how this bulb is a slow on, slow off. A lot of people don't like that and that's why they upgrade to LED. A lot of other people it's because that wire wound filament burnt out in the incandescent bulb and they just need to replace it. But why would you want to replace it with something that's terrible and old and outdated? This vehicle is a 2018. It should be LED already. If you don't got the LED, this is the video for you. So what we're going to do is actually reach from the inner fender liner here to do the install. Uh, we're going to remove a couple bolts and then pull the liner back. We could do it from up there, but you'd have to pull an airbox and a bunch of other work. So we're going to do it through here. So follow me to this side. The bulb socket type is a 7440 or 7443. That is the LED replacement for this incandescent bulb. If you need a little bit more room, you can turn the wheel. If you're on the driver's side, turn it to the left. I'm going to remove about th two bolts here and then a push tab back there. Using a 5.5 millimeter socket, I'm going to remove this one first. I'm going to use a pry tool for here, or you could probably just unscrew it with your hand. I'm going to try there. There you go. Now, as you can see, this fender liner is able to be pulled back so you can reach your hand up. You're probably not going to see this, but just go to the back side of the headlight, turn it counterclockwise, and you can pull it, and there's plenty of length to remove this bulb here. This is your incandescent bulb. And the coolest part is that this does both parking light and turn signal light. So you can install, instead of just a turn signal bulb, you can install a switchback bulb. This is what it looks like. This is the all new Morimoto switchback bulb. You plug this in here and then on parking light, it's going to be a bright white color. And then when you hit the turn signal, it's going to be that yellow color or that amber color, but it's going to be much brighter and an instant on, instant off. So reach up there, turn this clockwise to lock it back in place, and I'll show you what it looks like. Make sure you lock it in place before putting back all of the bolts. Now do the same exact thing on the other side and then test it to make sure it works. If it works, it should look like this. This is what your parking lights look like. Now instead of that dingy amber color, you've got that nice bright white color. When you hit the turn signals, this is what it looks like. It's an instant on, instant off. It's actually a safety feature also because people are going to be able to see you better. They're gonna know for sure you're turning because they are intense. These Morimoto bulbs are super bright. These Morimoto XP bulbs have a two year warranty so you don't have to worry about it burning out. I know this might seem really simple, just replace the turn signal bulb and you're good to go. But that's actually a huge achievement from a bulb company. The reason being is because like these bulbs right here generally would hyper flash or cause error codes in the inside of this dash. It's the last thing we wanted. Every time I would try a different bulb, we would get error codes or that hyper flash. The hyper flash means that it's going to blink rapidly and that's not what we want. Oftentimes, these bulbs will preserve themselves, the ones that are resistor free, to, and then they would ramp down just a little bit. If they ramp down, there's not enough resistance to the vehicle, so the vehicle thinks that it's burnt out and it's going to blink rapidly. And so they might last for maybe a minute or two, but if you're at a stoplight in the cities, you'll probably end up realizing that it's gonna hyper flash. Thankfully, this morning motor bulb does not do that, and they say that you can actually leave this on for over 30 minutes. It's pretty much due to this fan right on the top of this bulb. This fan actually turns on once the bulb turns on and it cools it. And so it's not going to have to ramp down like the other bulbs out there, thus not having a hyper flash. Morimoto has an amber bulb, a switchback bulb, a white bulb, and a red bulb for some taillights. Now I'm not going to show you the taillights on this vehicle because they are LED from the factory. There's a lot of Ford F-150s out there that do have the LED from the factory. However, if you've got a base model Ford, maybe you do want to upgrade the brake and turn signals. You sure can do that with the Morimoto bulbs if you had a base model F-150. We have done so much testing on the F-150s. You've probably seen this on our channel before. We've done fog lights, we've done third brake lights and tail lights. We try to find the best in aftermarket lighting for the F-150. Once we find it, we put it at headlightrevolution.com. So if you wanna see all of the stuff that's actually worth putting on your vehicle, type in your year, make and model, and we'll show you guys there. 